Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so welcome to my and Robert's Pump Repair School. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so today is lesson number one. Me and Robert, we showed you a lot of other videos. I'm sure you've seen it. You've probably seen Joseph's Dream to Educate the World and Have Everybody Be Pump Mechanics, so go watch that video next, right, man? All right, so today we're going to show you basically Pump and Motor 101, how to remove your motor armature inside the motor. Okay, and, and remove it out from the stator, the whole assembly, your fan, and how to put it back in it. I'm going to try to do it pretty quick, just to show you, you know, a rough detail. Now, of course, we know that on some pumps, these bolts are a little bit harder to remove. So we have plenty of other videos that show you how to remove stuff with through bolts. Now, this is called a through bolt. Okay, so if you don't know what this is called, this is called a through bolt. The reason it's called through bolt is because it goes through the motor and tightens sometimes to a wet end. Or anything else so that's called the through bolt okay so you have four of these that you want to remove just like this in the back okay I already pre-loosened mine that way you didn't have to watch me sit here and loosen everything up now this is a newer motor so it is easier to remove these on an older motor it is more difficult and like I said if you get to there and you can't remove these through bolts right then you want to stop there and watch my other videos and how to remove difficult ones where me and Robert show you how to um, drill them out and remove them without breaking everything. Okay, so once you remove the through bolts, you pull your wet end off just like that. Okay, you take a screwdriver and you knock your end out. Now we've already pre-marked these end bells, okay, with a little punch just so we know exactly where it goes together. Now we're not showing you that as a video, it's kind of like an express video, think of that as express train. It's not all stops. So check out my other videos on how to mark your motor end bells and how to mark your motor. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going forward here. Just like a cooking show when they already cut the tomatoes up, like Rachel Ray is like, hey, you're right, yeah, we got the tomatoes. They don't show you the guy cutting them before they show you. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Knock our front end bell just like that. Okay? And once we do that, you'll be able to pull it out. See, there it is right there. There's your rear bearing. Okay? And then here's your front bearing. Now, once again, this is an eco clear pump. It's kind of new, so things do come apart easy. The idea of this video, the video is not to show you how easy pump repair is. It's just to show you the parts, and we want to demonstrate it without dragging it on for 20 minutes. Okay. So here's your front bearing there. Here's your motor fan. Here's your rear bearing. Here's a switch. Okay, it's a triple switch. Just there. All right. Then inside here is your motor windings. Now in the back here, you'll have a little uh, spacer. Now I, didn't, I thought it would come out there, but it didn't. So what I'm going to do here is pop the back rear end off. Just like that. Don't be afraid, right? Don't be afraid. Robert used to be really afraid. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if once you pop it off there, you'll see the back of this motor. Right in the back here is a little ring. Now, we had a lot of questions about this. Where does this ring go? Oh, my God. Show me how we can put this back together. Okay, so now officially we have the motor all apart. We're not stressed out, nor should you be. Right? You're probably like, wow, that was like really simple, right? Quiet. Like, wow, they just took that whole. Yeah, we just took a motor part. Yes, we did. Okay. So now, how do we put this back together? Okay, take your little thing here. We would, you know, we like to put a little bit of bearing grease on it. That makes it a little bit, you know, sticky and tacky. And that way, let me move this other way for you. That way, you put it right back inside this end bell here. See that? So you can put it right in here like that. Just goes right. Oops. <laughs> I didn't get in there. I was like, oh no. Okay, it just it goes right inside there, just like that. Okay. See, so there it is. All right, and then your end bell, of course, you have the marks like I showed you earlier. So I'm just gonna line my end bell up just like this with my marks. Add that back on. Just adjust the marks. All right, so now we have that little piece in there. You always wanna double check by looking inside there. All right, still in there. All right, so once you've done that, rear end bell is on, back little spacer that looks like this. Now, we already have another one in there, but we wanted to have one on the table to show you what we just put in there. So that spacer is now inside there, okay? Now, if you're afraid of removing your end bell, some people are like, well, I have a Hayward sewer pump and there's wires back there and I'm scared. So what you can do in that case is you can just stand it up like this, make sure it's unplugged, of course, and then take your washer like this and then just put the through bolt down to the center there and then just drop the washer and that will fall in the center. Now, since we have it standing up, and we just take our end bell, place it right on there, give it a little tap. All right, and once we do that, okay, you just drop this slowly right inside the motor. 
Just like that. All right, so I look for my marks here, which are around right here, all right? And then what we'll do is you're gonna put the through bolt through, back through your motor. Okay, so here's my through bolt right there, okay? Once you get one through bolt there, you can put another through bolt at the bottom. All right, and once you get your, bolt, your through bolt in, you'll slide your throne through to slide your through bolt on. Then once you do that, you'll obviously use your nut driver here. And you can tighten this on, just like that. You want to tighten everything evenly, tighten here, tighten here, tighten here, and tighten here. And that's it. So that's it. So once again, we'll just go a brief overview, right? Sure. If you were taking this apart, what do you do? First thing you do is you loosen your through bolts. Take your wet end off. Okay, of course you have to remove your impeller. You can watch our other videos on how to do that. All right, and now through bolt out, through bolt out. Take it out, okay, just like that. Okay, and then when you want to put it in, you can stand it up like this. Make sure you get your washer. We showed you before in the earlier video, just rewind. Take the end bell off, off, or you can just put it through like this. And then put this back in right like that. All right, and that's all we have to do now is we're going to run out me and Robert. We're going to put these through bolts back here. here. Remember, they're called through bolts because they go through the motor. Okay, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom, see? Through the motor. We're going to tighten our wet end on. And that's it. We're going to start the motor up. All right, so this is Joe Tomorrow from wetheadpumprepair.com. Be sure to subscribe up top. We're going to show you on all different pumps and motors how to rebuild them, how to change the bearings, how to change the seals. If there's anything you want to see custom, just go to wetheadpumprepair.com and hit the contact us form and just let me know you want a custom video and we'll make it for you. All right, thanks for coming, man. Yep. Take it easy. All right, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Wetheadpumprepair.com. We got the parts, we got the bearings, we got the seals. You're looking for wholesale, we got that too. Thanks for watching. Just a Joe Tomorrow. Peace.